Hi everyone, Rebecca here, the high performance mental trainer for athletes. I help athletes perform their best when it counts by giving them the tools to train their mind. And today I am joined by one of those athletes. I have been working with Christina Ivanova for over a year now, and she has just won the bronze medal in the junior ladies at the Canadian National Championships. So congratulations, Christina, and welcome. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. And although she has had a successful year, it has not been all easy. She's had to overcome some struggles and mental blocks by learning mindset strategies and tools. And I know there are many other athletes out there that are experiencing the same challenges. And that is why I wanted her to share her journey with us in hopes that it will inspire you to make changes in your own training. So first, I'd like to ask, how did it feel performing your best on the biggest stage in Canada? Um, it was the first time I was performing on such a big stage. So it definitely was a new and interesting experience for me. Uh, and I enjoyed it so much. And I'm so happy that I was able to show what we, with all our team, with our coaches who are working for this whole season, um, and I'm so grateful to my coaches and my family for their patience and support because it truly really means the world to me. Um, but there are always things to work on, so we'll just keep working on them because I think that this competition gave me a lot of confidence and motivation to get better. Okay. And could you share some of those challenges that you have faced in the last year? Uh, this year was such a roller coaster for me, uh, and the biggest struggle for me was being afraid to do a mistake or not to do something uh, perfectly. And it was apparent not only in skating but just in life. And it mostly affected my jumps because I couldn't rotate them and I popped them. And the real struggle started last December. Then I missed Canadians by two spots. Um, so I wasn't able to rotate my jumps because for me it was only like doing it perfect or not doing it at all. Um, and I knew that it was not right, but I just couldn't do anything with myself. So I really started thinking about switching to ice dance or quit skating. Um, yeah. And I just couldn't enjoy it anymore because it just seemed like a waste of time for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think a lot of um, athletes come to that point where they, it's just not working for them and they're focusing on the being perfect and that's not working. And they come to a point where they have to decide, is this what I should be doing or not? And so that was definitely a big crossroads for you. So how did you overcome those challenges to get to where you are now? Because you obviously kept skating. Yeah, so here again, I'm just really thankful to my coaches and my family who just made me come to practices every day. Um, and we just kept trying to find a way to get through this. And then one day I just, somehow decided to stay in on a triple and I landed it pretty good after like not rotating it for like more than half a year so it gave me a little confidence and then every day after that I just started to make myself do a little more a little more and then in some time like step by step I got all my triples back and during that time, my mindset completely changed. So I started thinking way more positively. And I started to accept mistakes and let them go. And we, with my coaches, started to reduce attempts of my jumps to two, three per session, which created a sense of urgency for me to do it. Uh, and I also found courage to try the jumps, even if they go, doesn't feel good. And yes, I fell, but I started to accept that and I started to be curious what's going to happen if I will try mm. 
and so every day for me it was a fight with myself and I had to make myself do the jumps but every time it just got easier and now looking back I can say that I'm proud of what I was able to overcome because it made me stronger. Absolutely and those are some really great strategies that you were able to learn um, that definitely had a huge impact on your performance. Um, if you could choose two mindset strategies that you use regularly, ones that kind of help you make your practices more productive and more positive, which two would you suggest? Um, the first strategy for me is a positive visualization. Uh, so it's really important for me to visualize my jumps and my program in my mind because for our minds, it's like we're actually doing it on the ice. So uh, it helps me a lot before the competition or just my usual practice. <clears throat> and the second strategy for me is we call it a conscious practice so that I cannot let myself do 20 tries of one jump. And if the jump doesn't work, I keep open it. Um, I have only two tries and then I have to switch jumps and then come back. Um, because for me, it's really important to have that sense of urgency. And I have to know that I have only this try and I have to get this done. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like in this whole process, you've really gotten to know yourself better and what works for you. And also with the conscious practice, it helps you to be present when you're actually practicing and not just kind of on autopilot, right? Going around and around and around. So yeah, those are great strategies. How important is a strong mindset, do you think, to a skater's performance? Uh, for sure, it's really important to have a strong mindset because you can be physically ready 100%. That's if you will be worrying or you won't be confident enough, uh, all your hard work just won't matter. And it's frustrating, but I think that it's true because I think an athlete has to have a strong mindset to be able to get his job done in any conditions and however he feels. And he has to focus on only his performance and on the Feelings of jumps that he has in practices. And this mostly depends on the mindset, not the ability. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. And was this something that you had to learn as you went on in your journey? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So the final question is, what would you say to a young athlete if they're thinking about trying mental training, but maybe they're a little bit nervous to try it or they don't know if it's a good fit for them? Um. I think you really should try it because it's going to help you understand and listen to yourself because we all are different and there are no instructions on how to find yourself. Uh, so after you'll start using your personal strategies, your results will go way up higher and you'll just start thinking in a way more positive way. You'll just enjoy the moment. And after I started, started taking mental training, I thought that maybe that's something I want to do one day is to help young athletes to overcome those difficulties. Yeah, absolutely. I think that would be a great um, career for you to go into. I think that when you have that experience, that personal experience, and then you are able to overcome it with strategies, it makes you so much better at teaching those same skills. Yeah. So thank you so much for all of your insight today. Um, I'm really proud of all of the success that you've had this season. And I can't wait to watch you uh, continue to excel in skating and, um, and in life. So thank you, Christina. Thank you so much.